Hey folks, it's Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway Historic Downtown Paducah. Positive energy, it works. And I wanted to uh, address a question that we get pretty much on a daily basis. Here at the store, we'll have someone walk in and often, you know, they're agitated and upset and they're like, something's going on in my life. Um, you know, I feel weird, weird things are happening. There's very high strangeness going on around me. I feel like I'm not myself. What in the world is going on and what can I do about it? Well, of course, it could be any number of things going on, but often it's because this person is beginning their spiritual awakening. And a spiritual awakening can be very um, interesting, okay? And sometimes a little upsetting because uh, we've, we may be feeling different things in our, our body. We may be feeling different emotions. Um, we may be looking around us and going, well, I don't believe in all of that anymore or feel separated from people who we've been close to all of our lives because we're changing. So they'll come in and they'll ask inevitably, where do I start? And the good news is you have already started just by the virtue of you recognizing that spirit has been tapping you on the shoulder and going, woohoo, wake up. It's time for you to become more aware. Um, you have started. And let's face it, when we wake up, things can seem a little strange at first, okay? And a lot of people come in and they're very distressed because they, they don't know where they're going with this. And I liken it to uh, driving at night. For those of you who drive at night, can you see the destination if it's miles away? No. But if you turn on your headlights, you can see the portion of the road in front of you that you need to be able to see. You can see the, the road signs. You can see you know, other traffic. You can see your environment. And you can respond to it. So... To me, when you're going through your spiritual awakening, it's useful to remember the, the story of driving at night. You don't need to see 15 miles ahead of you. You just need to see what's directly ahead of you and pay attention and respond to the outside stimulus. You know, the old saying, when you're ready for a teacher, the right teacher will appear. So if someone is ready to really embrace their awakening, start paying attention. Who's coming into your life? This is not necessarily a coincidence. This person might be a teacher. And sometimes teachers um, aren't the ones that we think that they will be. Oftentimes, the teacher is the one that causes the most turmoil in our emotions or our life. <laughs> and they are there for our unfolding. And when you can see them as a blessing and they teach you, I don't want this and I do want that, that is a really valuable lesson. The other thing to remember is that when you're ready to uh, embrace a new thought or a new idea or a new belief, the books, the videos, the people will show up for you. So stop trying to eat the elephant all in one sitting. Eat it one bite at a time, all right? Get done with that portion and then move on to the next. It does seem overwhelming when you first start to awaken to the, the reality of your spiritual being. If you take it nice and slow and move through your journey in joy and anticipation, it's going to be a lot easier. And for me, the spiritual awakening is really remembering who you are. And who you are is a spiritual being having a physical experience, which is considerably different than a physical being having a spiritual experience. Let me say it again. You are a spiritual being, your soul, your higher self, having a physical experience. Mm -hmm. You're walking around in this, this body suit this lifetime to learn lessons. And so when we start to wake up to the fact that we're not our bodies, we're our soul, um, that can be a revelation. So folks, if this message resonates with you, thumbs up is great. Subscribe to the channel to get some more of this. And as always, have a great week. Namaste.